गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे आय एम हेअर प्रोफेसर एस आर चाकणे प्रेझेंटिंग द न्यू टॉपिक दॅट इज लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स ॲटमॉस्फेरिक टेम्परेचर देन टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन लॅब्स रेट डेली अँड सीझनल व्हेरिएशन्स ऑफ टेम्परेचर देन व्हर्टिकल प्रोफाईल ऑफ टेम्परेचर अँड द एनर्जी बॅलन्स ऑफ द अर्थ सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दिस न्यू टॉपिक हेअर फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ॲटमॉस्फेरिक टेम्परेचर फर्स्ट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द टेम्परेचर दॅट इज द डिग्री ऑफ हॉटनेस ऑर द कोल्डनेस इज नोन ॲज टेम्परेचर वेन एनी ऑब्जेक्ट रिसीव द एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हीट्स इज टेम्परेचर गेट इन्क्रीजेस ॲज वी नो दॅट द एव्हरी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द अर्थ सर्फेस दॅट रिसीव द हीट एनर्जी अँड द टेम्परेचर ऑफ दॅट ऑब्जेक्ट विल गेट इन्क्रीजेस अँड दॅट इज अबाउट द ॲटमॉस्फेरिक टेम्परेचर देन वी विल डिस्कस इन शॉर्ट अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस ॲटमॉस्फेरिक टेम्परेचर द एअर ऑर ॲटमॉस्फेअर रिसीव्स हीट एनर्जी फ्रॉम द सन इट्स टेम्परेचर इज गेट इन्क्रीजेस देन ड्यू टू डिफरंट अमाऊंट ऑफ द हीट एनर्जी रिसिव्ड ॲट डिफरंट प्लेसेस द एअर टेम्परेचर ॲट इज ॲट डिफरंट प्लेसेस ऑल्सो वेरीज दॅट मीन्स देर आर variation which observe in receiving the heat energy at a different places and due to that uh, the temperature of the different places is also varies then it is important in controlling the distribution of life on the earth that means the every processes on the earth surface that is controlled by the earth surface uh, that is controlled by the atmospheric temperature and due to that this atmospheric temperature which is considered as an important cause for the climate change so in short we have discussed about the introduction regarding the definition and the introduction about the atmospheric temperature then after that we will discuss about the topic that is the temperature inversion then what is the temperature inversion it is defined as the temperature generally decreases with increase in height that is known as a temperature inversion that means if we have go upward from the earth surface that means the the distance is increases that means the height of the uh, atmosphere that increases and in that case the temperature is get decreases and that phenomenon is known as the temperature inversion then there are various types of the inversions are there so there are mainly the two types of the temperature inversions may occur in that first one that is the surface inversion so this type of the inversion that occurs due to the radiational cooling of the ground surface then the air near the earth or the ground is cooler that means in a winter while above it the air is warmer then the second type of the inversion that is occur that is the advection inversion so this advection inversion that occurs from an actual warming layer over the cold one and that is known as the advection inversion so in that advection means the heat energy transfer by the horizontal movement of air that is called as advection inversion then there are some reasons behind the phenomenon of this advection inversion and this advection inversion that occurs due to the following reason so in that first reason that is the earth surface loses the heat more than it gain and that is the one of the reason for the advection inversion then second one the cold air from the hill tops and the slope slopes tend to flow downward and get replaced by the warm air that means when the cold air that is flow from the hill tops as well as the slope and they goes to the downward that means they flow downward and in that case this cold air that get replaced by the warm air that is also one of the important reason of the advection inversion then again the cold air that replaces the warm air this is the third reason of the advection inversion so these are the two types of the temperature inversion may occur as first one is the surface inversion and the second one is the advection inversion then next concept that is an important one that is a lapse rate so what is a lapse rate so it is defined as the rate of temperature decreases with increase in height 
that is known as a lapse rate that means if the temperature if the height of the atmosphere is increases at that time the rate of temperature that is continuously goes on decreasing that is known as the lapse rate so the average lapse rate is 6.5 degree celsius per kilometer in the lower atmosphere that means the average lapse rate which is occur in the troposphere that is 6.5 degree celsius then this lapse rate is considered positive when the temperature decreases with height that means the lapse lapse rate which is called as a positive when it goes on decreasing with with increase in height that is known as the positive lapse rate and the lapse rate is negative when the temperature is increases with increase in height that means increase in elevation that is known as the temperature inversion or the negative lapse rate so in short this is about the lapse rate then next one there are the various types of the lapse rate as a first one is the adiabatic lapse rate so what is the adiabatic lapse rate in that first one is a adiabatic lapse rate so adiabatic lapse rate is defined as the rate at which the temperature decreases in rising the expanding air parcel that is called as the adiabatic lapse rate as in case of this adiabatic lapse rate it is defined as when the temperature is decreases when the expanding air parcel that is called as a adiabatic lapse rate then in next important term regarding this that is the dry adiabatic lapse rate so what is a dry adiabatic lapse rate it is also known as a dalr so the unsaturated air parcel or the unsaturated air displaced upward its pressure decreases to equal to that of new environment and its volume is increases and that will cause the fall of temperature of air that is known as the dry adiabatic lapse rate then what is the actual definition of the dalr that means the dry adiabatic lapse rate that is the rate of fall of temperature of uh, unsaturated air parcel during an adiabatic cooling that is known as a dry adiabatic lapse rate in which the whatever the temperature of the air or the unsaturated air that is unsaturated air parcel during an adiabatic cooling that is get decreased and that is known as a dry adiabatic lapse rate then the average value of this dry adiabatic lapse rate is about 9.8 degree celsius per kilometer then saturated adiabatic lapse rate then what is a saturated adiabatic lapse rate it is defined as the rate of fall of temperature of a saturated air parcel during an adiabatic cooling that is known as a dry adiabatic lapse rate so the value of this salr that means the saturated adiabatic lapse rate is about 4 degree celsius per kilometer then next important topic that is an variations of the temperature and firstly we will discuss about the daily or the diurnal temperature variation so the daily pattern of air temperature is known as a diurnal variation of the temperature it we it gives the maximum and the minimum temperature so this daily or the diurnal temperature uh, variation that will give the maximum and the minimum daily temperature then from sunrise the sun energy is continuously supplied and the temperature is continuously rises that means from sunrise the sun energy or the heat energy that is continuously goes on increasing and the temperature is also continuously increases then recording the maximum temperature between 2 to 4 pm then this delay in time to reach the maximum temperature is known as the thermal lag or it is also known as the thermal inertia then similarly the minimum air temperature occurs just before the sunrise due to lag in transfer of heat from the surface to the air so this is about the daily or the diurnal variation of the temperature then second one that is the seasonal variation of the temperature so the annual temperature variation that will give rise to the season that means summer or the 
winter season that means there is the annual temperature variation which is occur according to the season in case of the summer season there is the more intensity of the heat energy is there and in case of the uh, winter there is the comparatively less solar radiations which are received as compared to the summer season due to that there is the seasonal variation in temperature that will occur then the annual temperature range that varies from place to place again annually the temperature that varies or it also uh, there is the variation will be occur due to the region to region then there is a thermal lag of 30 to 40 days of the seasonal variation then in northern hemisphere the winter occurs minimum in january and summer is maximum in july and vice versa in the southern hemisphere then the difference between the highest and lowest temperature for a given period that is known as a range so the range that is the difference bit that will shows the difference between the highest and lowest temperature for a any given period and that is known as a range then next important concept that is the temperature gradient so what is the temperature gradient it is defined as the rate of change of temperature with a horizontal distance that is known as a temperature gradient then next point we have to discuss here that is the vertical profile of the temperature that in that as we move upward the temperature alternately decreases and increases that means if the height is increases the temperature is continuously or it is alternately decreases and increases then vertical temperature profile is formed on the basis of the layering of the atmosphere then the vertical temperature variation does not show the uniform behavior then atmosphere can be divided into the four sphere in that first one is the troposphere where the temperature decreases from 15 degree celsius to 60 degree celsius then in case of the stratosphere this is the second layer of atmosphere in which the temperature is increases from minus 60 degree celsius to 0 degree celsius then third layer of atmosphere is a mesosphere in which the temperature that is decreases from 0 degree celsius to minus degree celsius and the last layer of the atmosphere that is the thermosphere in which the temperature that is increases from minus 90 degree celsius to 95 degree celsius at 350 kilometer and 170 degree celsius at an undefined upper limit so this is about the vertical profile of the temperature and in which there are four layers of the atmospheres are there and during that uh, different layers the temperature that is alternately decreases and increases so in this way we have discussed about the atmospheric temperature then temperature inversion then variation of the temperature thank you